So about to head down to the back creek and start getting set up. I'm going to use a tub with a dome that I've put on as a bit of a DIY housing so I can try and get a split shot with half or part underwater and part above water showing a Rakali hopefully entering or exiting its den. But before we head down... I've done this setup a few times already. Normally I'll set it up for a few nights when I know it's going to be dry. I've had to run down at 2 or 3 in the morning and pull everything out when it starts to rain because I just don't trust the creek. It comes up super fast. Alrighty, so the plan is, is to get the dome housing down into this little pool here. This is one of the burrow entrances that the Rakali have. It's not the only one, there's a couple more upstream so we won't be blocking off their only access into their den. Now I've weighed all this down just with rocks and bricks and stuff just to keep it from staying buoyant. Um, I've also filled it up with rice in hopes that the dome won't fog up because we've started getting some cool evenings and I was having a few fog problems last time I tried this setup. So I'm just upstream from where we've placed the camera and we've got another entrance here that you can see has been all dug out and a large entrance under this bank that's all been dug out. So I'm almost done setting up. What I'm using is a soft box. The issue with trying to get photos of uh, wet fur is that it's extremely reflective. So if I soften the light a bit, hopefully it'll give it a nicer sheen. That's, I've had a bit of success doing that with these Rakali and they don't seem too bothered by the bursts of light. I am only going to be leaving this in for a few hours tonight and then pulling it once it's proper dark so they'll, that way they'll be able to come in and out throughout the night without the disturbance. This is the trolley that was in the creek for my first Rakali camera trap photo. I've fished it out now but um, it's interesting because this trolley's probably been in this creek longer than the current generation of these water rats. Alrighty so I'm almost all done. I'm um, just going to do a couple of test shots. I've got this main flash, I've got one flash just on the bank um, onto my left and up the back I've put a flash as well just to light up the background and get a bit of reflection on the water surface as well. Um, I've got on a two second delay just for the moment just so that I can put the, put the lid on and it's not going to allow light to get in through the back of the dome and cause reflections on that surface. Once I've done that and it's all looking good I've just got to get the motion sensor on top Plug it in, and we'll be good to go. Alrighty, sensors on. Put a pot here just to weigh it down a little bit. Very professional, I know. And everything's hooked up, so I'm just gonna do a quick test, quick motion test to make sure everything's working, and then I'll leave it here. Awesome. One more. There we go. I always just double check before I hook it up again just to make sure everything's working the way I want it.
So it's been a few days since I set up for the Rakali down here. I ended up pulling the camera that evening and I had a few frames of it coming and going, but not what I was after. So I came back down the following night, following afternoon after work and set everything back up again. Same spot, same positioning for the camera and the lighting and um, left it there for another night. The next morning I came down and pulled it out and I got the shot, so I'm really stoked. It's been months trying to get this photo and the Rakali just climbs, climbs straight out of the water, pauses before its burrow and just turns and looks at the camera, so I'm really happy. It's been months trying to get this photo. I flooded a 7D Mark II in January when I first tried in the wet season. Um, yeah, so I'm just really happy that I finally got the photo and I'm just really happy that I get to share my backyard with these awesome creatures. Rakali climbing out of the water onto the sand, about to head into its burrow. So it's been a few days since... <laughs> 